Hey, what's up coders? Welcome to One Little Coder. We have a new 7 billion parameter model that manages to beat the 70 billion Llama 2 model on an empty benchmark. MT stands for multi-turn benchmark. This is a benchmark that evaluates the capabilities of a chatbot. How did it manage to beat? I think that's a, the that's, that's a secret sauce here, which is not so secret anymore. They removed the alignment from the base model. This poses a larger question, probably that's for a different video altogether, but every time a large language model is being trained, the large language model goes through a process of alignment. Sometimes people just do it with supervised fine tuning, SFT. Sometimes people do it with some techniques like RLHF, reinforcement learning from human feedback. But the objective of these is to just align these language models, the large language models with human values. And what they have found with this new model, which is called Zephyr. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correct, but it almost sounds like a Greek God's name. So Zephyr 7 billion parameter model is a model that has been fine tuned from Mistral AI 7 billion parameter model. But Zephyr has been fine tuned after removing any alignment piece. So there is no alignment piece within Zephyr at all. And what the researchers from Hugging Face has figured out that when you remove alignment, the model does better. The model does better on the empty benchmark. Now, a lot of you might comment comment on the channel saying that, hey, but what about human values? What about uh, machines taking over us and then killing us? I think we don't have to go far that level about alignment at this point, at least like that's what I think. Most of the alignments right now happens like, for example, you ask a question about how do I um, how do I kidnap somebody? Do you want the language model to answer or not? These are the things that people try to usually avoid with this alignments like the safety things. But at the end of the day, when you remove alignment, it improves score, which is like a lot of people who have been speculating saying that, you know, RLHF lobotomizes these models. And I think that is kind of true at this point. Let's get into the model without further ado. The model is called the Zephyr 7 billion parameter model. It's a series of language models that are trained on the helpful assistance. The first one in the series, which is of course alpha, is a fine tuned version of Mistral AI, the 7 billion parameter model, the V0.1 model that was trained on publicly available uh, synthetic data set using a technique called direct preference optimization, DPO. In this particular video, at least we are not going to get into any sort of detail about DPO, but you can, you, you can imagine that this is the drop in replacement of RLHF that they have used for uh, whatever that extra alignment is required. So we're not going to get into the DPO part itself. When they we found out that removing inbuilt alignment of these data sets boosted the performance on empty benchmark data set and made the model more helpful. However, this also means that the model is likely to generate more problematic text when prompted to do so. So you should be using this only for educational and research purpose. That's like a general guidance. The good thing is the model is coming with CC by NC 4.0 license. That means it's a quite a good license. You can do anything that you want. Only thing is you have to attribute back to them. It's a 7 billion parameter GPT like model fine tune on public and a synthetic data set. Now, if you look at what kind of data set that they used, they used a data set called ultra chat. Now ultra chat, is not a stranger in this model world. Ultra chat comes from chat GPT responses and uh, they have, I think used like a, like a filtered version of ultra chat. So ultra chat is, um, is a data set. So it's an open source, large scale, multi round dialogue powered by turbo APIs and to ensure generation quality, two separate chat GPT turbo APIs are adopted in the generation where one plays the role of a user to query and the other generates the response. So now you know like what is ultra chat. We do not use any data available on the internet as prompts. So they have just done themselves. And uh, it's quite a popular data set to be honest, 774,000 rows. Uh, so that is what is powering the Zephyr model. So Zephyr model has been trained on a variant of ultra chat. So they took ultra chat, they filtered it. They took the filtered piece. Um, I mean, time and time again, everybody says Gigo, like garbage in, garbage out. So they managed to find uh, fine tune the data set on a refined version of ultra chat, which contains a diverse range of synthetic dialogues by chat GPT. Further, the alignment piece happens with TRL's DPO trainer. The direct um, preference optimization is what DPOs. And that is also based on uh, ultra feedback data set, which has got 64,000 prompts. So it's very straightforward for you to use it, but uh, they have also shared like a link a web application like a, a version of hugging chat where you can go use it 
so you can ask like basic questions like for example how do i kidnap a kid not necessarily a basic question but um, i wanted to see if the model responses it says i strongly advise you not to carry out but as you can see even with the dpo direct preference optimization this kind of doesn't come out uh, out of a chat itself and you can see like a red label icon there anyways um let's ask some uh, decent questions now so that the model doesn't judge judge us so let me go and ask the same question i keep on asking everybody what tell me a joke about elon musk you need to also remember that this is a fine tuned version of mistral model so you know it has the qualities of mistral model the kind of data set that they used and then it has been fine tuned especially it's been sft supervised fine tune on top of uh, whatever it is available why did elon musk put a mirror in his car he said i want to see the future but then he got bored and took it out now the car just drives itself backwards uh, i don't know i don't know how you feel about the joke but the joke is actually funny so okay let's let's ask a simple programming question i've got a data set called let's say um youtube.csv and it has got two columns one is time the one is time the second is views help me draw a line chart with the two let's see i i expected to keep the time in the x axis i expected to keep the views in the y axis i mean i'm not sure like if it will go to that level but you can see um okay it uh, it it does pd dot read csv youtube csv and it takes the time and converts into a daytime object which is good then makes it into y makes it into uh, mix into x views into y and then it has like a matplotlib um, visual and indentations are good um, which could be also formatting kind of like it i think the overall objective of this video is not to test the model which we will definitely do we'll probably compare this model with the base mistral model and then see how is it good in conversational aspect because whatever we tested now we are not testing on a conversational aspect right what is a conversation for example i further go and then say but can you make this an r code okay so this is what mostly conversations about you have like multi turn conversation rather than asking a question and answer that is what this model is specialized at which we will definitely test it out but what was interesting for me is like how they managed to beat the benchmark it's a very simple secret secret sauce very simple secret sauce remove any inbuilt alignment of the model first fine tune it on ultra chat which is which has got like huge uh, chat data or probably like a refined version of ultra chat and then use dpo and then further align the model it is really good to see i would definitely love to use the model more also dive deeper into dpo to understand more about dpo what is happening here also let me know in the comment section what do you feel about generally like rlhf and the alignment concept i know like our community always has like the mixed feeling some people say that alignment is very required some people say that it is not very required let me know in the comment section what do you feel about it but today we have got a zephyr 7 billion parameter alpha model which is um, beating the 70 billion parameter model of uh, llama 2 in multi turn benchmark empty benchmark see you in another video happy prompting